Hey guys, if you make a common mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on repairs that you may actually not need. Make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain what it is. Guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Dodge Ram that generation here from year 2013 to year 2018. If you have one of those, if you need to find guys where the fuses for the body control module are located, which fuses you need to check, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses realize at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure to stay until the end. So, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix anything like engines, transmission, codes, fuses, bodywork, all that stuff. Why we do all that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. On this channel guys, specifically, we will be making a video about every single fuse, every single relay on that Dodge Ram and let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your fuel pump fuse goes bad, all we have to do, find our video, watch it for a minute or two, replace that fuse, you're back on the road. So we do that guys to help you as much as we can. Also, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channel that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's start on it now. So the body control module fuses where you can guys expect to find them we will demonstrate on this generation Dodge Ram right here. You have up to four different fuses that we need to check. We need to go ahead and open the hood. Here under the hood on the driver's side you see that cover and right in front of the car battery. That cover guys has two notches, one here, one there, press them, it opens. On the inside you will find guys the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one. Before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and realize why. Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse puller and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to, I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse. Sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not. You may not clearly see it. So always, guys, test them because if you don't test the fuse, you assume it's good, you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, realize it's a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. We're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. So the body control module guys, okay, which four fuses we need to check. Let's zoom in a little bit. The first fuse that you need to check will be fuse number 10. You need to check fuse number 12, right here. Another one is fuse number 14, all the way here. Then you need to check one more guys which is known as fuse number 23 and we're talking about this fuse right here guys, that little fuse right there. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful, thank you for watching, see you next time.